Hey guys, Music Theory 1 Video 6, Writing Intervals. This is David Farrell. In this video, we're going to continue with our interval talk from the last time. This time, we're going to be focusing on writing intervals. We're going to be building on a lot of the things we did in video 5, so make sure you understand the different ways we can talk about intervals and identify intervals before you move on to this video. Writing intervals is going to have a three step process. Those three steps are count check and adjust okay step one count step two check step three adjust what does that mean let's talk about it let's jump to an example we're going to start with an ascending interval writing an interval up these are usually a little bit simpler than the descending intervals here we've got a d flat in our bass clef and we want to write a pitch a major sixth up from this d flat so what are we going to do we're going to start with step one, which is count. We want to count up six pitches. The first thing we're going to do is try to figure out that number part of the interval. And so I'm going to start on D flat, which is always going to be one. D is one, E is two, F is three, G is four, A is five, and B is six. We need some kind of B. And so I'm going to write that B onto my staff here. Step one is count. We're going to count up the number, and I know I need some kind of B. Okay, That's always going to be the first step for writing an interval. Step two is going to be to check the quality of the interval here. And so what I want to do is take a look at the interval that I've written and see, does it match the quality that I want? And if it doesn't, what kind of interval did I write? So I want to figure out what kind of interval is this D flat to B natural. Maybe we got lucky and it's a major sixth already, but if it's not, then we want to figure out what it is so that we can properly adjust it in the next step. So to check this quality, we need to figure out the key signature of the lower note, again calling back to our last video about interval identification. I need to think about that key signature for D flat major, and I checked my circle of fifths. D flat major has five flats, and they are B, E, A, D, and G. And so this B natural is not in the D flat major scale, right? We would expect it to be a B flat. This is one half step larger than the major sixth, than the one from the major scale. And so I've checked the interval and I have figured out that it is an augmented sixth, right? It's a half step bigger than the major sixth, it's an augmented sixth. But that's not what I want. I've been asked to write a major sixth up, and so in order to do that, I need to go to the final step of this process. And that is adjusting. I need to adjust the note that I've written so that we have the proper interval there, okay? I don't want to change that D flat. I never want to change the given note, but I do want to change this B natural. I know it's an augmented sixth, but I want a major sixth. And I know an augmented sixth is one half step larger than a major sixth. So I need to make this interval just a half step smaller. And so in order to do that, I need to move that B natural a little bit closer to the D flat. I need to move it down by a half step. And so I'm going to add that flat accidental here, D flat to B flat. This is my major sixth up from D flat. I started by counting. I checked the interval that I had. And finally, I adjusted as I needed to do to make sure that the quality matched the quality I was looking for. This is going to be my process whenever I want to try to write an interval accurately. When we're writing an interval down, the process does not change too much. We're going to go through these same steps. It can be a little bit trickier just making sure we adjust in the right direction when we have that lower note. But again, we're going to go through the same process. And so here, I want to write a diminished fifth down from A. The first step is going to be to count down those five notes. And again, I'm always going to start on one. A will be one, G will be two, F will be three, E will be four, and D will be five. And so I'm going to go ahead and draw in that D there. I know I need some kind of D to make this diminished fifth down from A. The next step is going to be the same as before. I'm going to check to see what kind of interval I've written. Again, maybe I got lucky, maybe this is the diminished fifth. And so, of course, I'm going to check from the lower note. We always measure 
are intervals from the lower note. And so I'm going to check from that D, and I know the key of D major has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So I have to ask myself, is this A natural in the key of the lower note? And it is. This A is in the key of D natural. That means we've written a perfect fifth right here. And of course, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a diminished fifth. And so this means that I'm not finished. I do have to move on to that third step. That third step will be to adjust the interval. I need to make this perfect fifth into a diminished fifth. And that means I need to make it smaller. And so I have to think, what do I need to do to this lower note to make the interval smaller? Well, I need to make it closer to the upper note. And so that means I'm going to need to raise it. I need to raise it to push it up closer to the A. And that means that I am going to need to add a sharp. And there it is. I've added that D sharp. And this is my diminished fifth. A down to D sharp is a diminished fifth. I counted my interval. I checked to see the quality that I had. And then I adjusted as necessary to make sure that I had the proper quality here. That's the end of video six on writing intervals. In this video, we went over writing intervals both up and down. For each of these processes, we went through the same steps. First, we counted the number of the intervals. Then we checked to see the quality of interval that we had. And then, if it didn't match the quality we were looking to write, we adjusted. As you can tell, this process draws on a lot of the knowledge we've already started going over. It draws on our knowledge of key signatures, and it draws on our ability to identify intervals and understand the relationships between those qualities. And so already we're putting together a lot of the skills from these different videos. Anyways, that's the end. Thanks for watching video six on writing intervals. I'll see you guys next time in class.